Eso es lo que se ha demostrado ahora en Copenhague. Entonces, muy claro, todos nos utilizan por el voto, pero no nos dejan hablar ni decir las verdades al mundo. So what we have seen is what um, a di cap capitalist dictatorship can do, uh, uh, covered as democracy. They are, we are used for a vote. We can give our vote, but we, our voice cannot be heard. There's no, there's no participation. There's no consultation. There's, and if you try and raise your voice, then they're going to beat you down, and they cause it. Three degrees Celsius converted to Fahrenheit. That means. Endless floods, endless drought, nations disappearing beneath the sea, an entirely different planet, one that eventually will have no ice on it at all. That's what three degrees Celsius is talking about. The United States has by far put up the lion's share of the carbon into the atmosphere in this world. And we must take responsibility for that. And I think... While you, ladies and gentlemen, here in the Bellaphone, behind fences and far from ordinary people, so far have failed to deliver. More than 400 organizations representing millions of people from all corners of this planet have reached a deal, a people's declaration. We have managed to unite along common goals to address climate crisis, global injustices, and stressing real solutions for a just and sustainable future. Tomorrow, the solutions are among the people. Listen to them. like, oh, Saddam Hussein is like Hitler, that takes you four seconds, you're ready for prime time. Everyone will know exactly what you're talking about. If you have something else to say, perhaps that, oh, the US government is guilty of war crimes, you know, the Bush administration is guilty of war crimes, that actually just takes four seconds, five seconds. But you do sound a little crazy. What are you talking about? You need to describe the, what a war crime is. What are the Geneva Conventions? What are the Nuremberg Principles? And if you attempt to take that time, it's not a political edit. You're just not ready yet to concisely make your point. Well, that's obviously not true. It's the form that actually determines the politics of what you hear. And we <laughs> In, in the UK, we have a program of um, emergency measures. We have a climate emergency campaign with like concrete emergency measures like 10% uh, reductions by the end of next year. And um, 
a million green jobs campaign, which the, 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 camp, the trade union branch of the campaign is particularly putting forward, and um, banning domestic flights as a kind of headline thing, um, and scrapping the roads program and stuff, things like that. Uh, and we have uh, the early day motion written by Colin Challen that embraces a lot of those, a lot of those things. The, the, the real point is to put out some really, to move the agenda forward to some concrete things we should be doing to reduce emissions in the UK. Um, and that's what we would like to uh, build around um, in, into the into the coming year. We have 45 MPs who signed that EDM, um, so we, you know. We think there's there's the basis for us to, to to get to begin to get some tra uh, political traction around some things that might have seemed out of the question a few years ago, um, because people are recognising that this is in exceptional exceptional times and it, you know a real emergency that we that we have to deal with. So that's what we want to do in the UK uh, and internationally. We are certainly be pretty predictably um, involved as we have been in, in, in trying to orchestrate um, you know, a global demonstration, demonstrations around the world, demonstrations and events, a big sort of shout noise about climate change at the time of the next COP, the next UNFCC meeting, which may in fact be a lot more significant than the Copenhagen one it, it now looks like, whether that's in November. Um, possibly in July, according to whatever they decide. Because it's in America Latina, it's in Africa, it's in Asia, but it's in America Latina, where it's going to be the future. And we will be with great pleasure and with great pride defending that future. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Help us there, though some may think it is absurd, I say, give me your ear.